Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at this Malone Profile 18B rooftop cargo box and we'll be using it, my family will be using it on our GX470 and my wife's uh, Ford Explorer but obviously a rooftop box can be used on lots of different vehicles so hopefully you find uh, the review of this and the installation uh, video helpful and we'll dive into kind of what all the kit, the box comes with and then we'll go into the install. All right, so let's start with a few of the specifications of the 18B or the 18S is the same thing, just in silver, not black. Um, but it's about 79 inches long, 32 inches wide and 15 inches tall. It has 18 cubic feet of storage capacity and can hold 165 pounds. So a pretty good amount of space in there. Um, and what it comes with is obviously the box, two keys that work on either side, this will fold up either direction, and then two straps for securing your luggage inside, and then four of these uh, mounting brackets. Um, these are really simple to use, we'll go over the install in a second, but there's slots for these to slide into, and then you hook the, the opening on your crossbar and then just tighten this down um, and you're good to go it'll click when it's tight enough so four of those on the inside and that's all you gotta do to get it installed um, so we'll dive in the install and see how it looks on the GX all right so I thought it may be easier to show you how the install goes with it off the vehicle um, here's a close-up on what the mounting brackets look like you just tighten and loosen them with this red knob and they go in the slits. There's an opening here on each side, two on the front, two on the back. And these have some flexibility. They can slide back and forth, both to accommodate uh, your crossbars being different lengths apart and um, how far you want it forward or back on the vehicle. Obviously you wanna be aware of how your back gate opens um, because that'll dictate how far back you can put it um, the, your crossbars have to be between 30 and 35 inches apart, so be aware of that. Um, the instructions show the opening going to the back, so the front of the vehicle and the front of the box is to my left, and so the brackets will go on like this, and you'll just want to get this opening lined up with your crossbar, and then slide this in, and then on the other side it'll hook on to your crossbar and then you just tighten this down until it clicks. So I feel like it was easier to see it here than up on the vehicle. Um, so we'll get it installed and then show you how it opens and closes and we'll go from there. All right, so there's what it looks like on my 2008 Lexus GX470. Pretty simple install, it took me maybe 10, 15 minutes all by myself. Being able to open it from both sides is really convenient for doing the install. The GX has a swing out rear door, so it made it really easy to open up the back door and put it on from the back. But if you have two people putting it on from the side, it'd be really easy too. So there you go. Now we'll wrap it up with my final thoughts. All right, and that's the full review, initial impressions, I guess you'd say, of the Profile 18B rooftop box by Malone. Um, I don't have any experience with other uh, rooftop box manufacturers, but this met or exceeded my expectations in pretty much every way, how easy it is to open. I was able to install it on my GX all by myself in 15 minutes, getting off took five or 10 minutes all by myself, so. Installation super easy. It's nice and lightweight. Um, obviously, I want to put it through some paces to make sure it stays watertight and lasts a long time and is durable, but that's yet to come. Um, yeah, I think for the money, this is every bit as good as some of the other options out there and super happy with how it looks. The aesthetics of it on the GX black on black looks really good. Uh, I think the black will look good on other vehicles like my wife's white uh, Ford Explorer. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Um, if you haven't already, I'd like you to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got lots more content coming. 
a lot of GX stuff, some other stuff that's not car related. So definitely stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video.